What I want to point out here is two main tips for getting your Google business profiles unsuspended. So I'll walk you through the appeal process. There are some very key elements that you need to make sure that you're following with the appeal process. I'd like to also share with you the timeline that it takes to get your Google business profile back. So your profile has been suspended. This is one that we had in Houston. I took some of the name off just, you know, uh, maybe I got it back. Uh, but also here, if you take a look inside of this one, look at there's a bunch of them. See the yellow? That's where I was looking for profile suspended. I've lost some, got a lot back what city you're from or what niche you're in. But what I quickly realized is sometimes when you're utilizing the appeal tool, it can come back as an immediate denial. Here's Here it is suspended, 23rd of August, and then I was able to get it back September the 2nd. Now inside this video, all right, you'll see two separate links. There's the actual guidelines, all right? Now these are the overall guidelines, but there's also appeal process guidelines. I've left both links below this video. All right, take your time filling out the appeal. Whichever business is listed on your actual business formation and however you put it into Google business profile to begin with, it has to be identical. All right, it has to be identical. You miss one comma, it could potentially cause a immediate rejection. All right, but what we quickly learned with API connections connected to the, your Google business profile accounts, this could be catastrophic to your Google business profiles. It's going to be inside of a Google account, Google account, third-party API connections. All right, you'll come inside of here. All right, connections between your account and third parties and services. You'll come inside of here, view linked accounts. This is what I want to point out to you. I want to point this out. Here's an untitled project. Take a look at this. When you click on these, you can now see this information. Sometimes when you're making this connection and you're giving trust to a particular app, this is causing a chain of trust to other apps that have full access of your account, your contacts, all of your details. Look at this one. This is just for docs, but see, edit, create, and delete. What if you gave them account access and some of them ask for it. You have to be so mindful of this right here. You could be giving access to not only an app that's trusted, but maybe maybe many others that aren't and can you don't know. But I need you to go and look at this. So come on over to Google, type in Google account third party API connections and take a look and see what's connected. Go through them and make sure that you're not giving up anything you shouldn't be. Let's take a look at this one. This one looks a little shady. All right. Account, you're sharing some sensitive info with, with this particular profile. See details. All right. Access given. So perfect. We could get rid of this one. If there's something that you just don't recognize, take a look at it. All right. You could be giving them access to everything. And then on top of that, and you can... I'm telling you, I, 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 I really hope that you nip this in the butt here. All right. But double check through here, make sure nothing's connected. Here's another tip. This is another thing I ran into. Like I mentioned before, I've gone through this process too many times. All right. The other piece is, is if you had an old account and you created your Google business profile in it, you know, you keep accessing it to another, maybe you transferred it. This can cause a suspension. And then if you're not using the same uh, email, it doesn't have to be Gmail, could be your workspace, could be your work. But if it's not the same, this can cause issues. They'll keep kicking you out. You'll just keep going in circles. Here, let's, let's keep moving on here. Here's another tip for you. All right. So with these tools that are doing your posts, your automated posting, all right. On top of that, it has a feature in there that can lock your account. All right. The reason why they're putting the lock they meant it to be good, but there's a lot of people that are going against the grain. All right. What a lot of others have figured out is that when you have that locking mechanism in your posting software or your Google grids tracker, right? What it's doing is it's reverting using the API back to where it was before the edits were made. Now, if somebody's making changes and they know that it's going to be reverted right back, if they do that enough, it's going to cause a suspension. All right. So inside your account, we come inside of here, uh, appeal uh, product content restrictions. All right. You can check your statuses, prepare your evidence. Crucial. <laughs> Preparing your evidence when you first have it, I think it's a half hour or 40 minutes. It's a short period of time. 
everything needs to be submitted and uploaded. Like say that you have a image that's relatively large. It all needs to be uploaded and submitted within, I think, a half hour or 40 minute window. It might give you a 60 minute window. All right. Take a look at this right here. Official business registration, business license, tax certificates, utility bills, all of the addresses and the information that's on your legal forms and in your Google business profile and everything that you write, it all needs to match. Also on top of this, as far as it matching, all right, I don't know if you have a Google workspace or a regular Google account. Let's just say that you have a regular Google account. All right. I want to point this out to you. I think this is a small factor, but I've ran across businesses that had mismatching information inside of their account to their Google business profile. Here's what I mean. When you come inside of here, all right, if you, if this is your main profile like this and you're putting in your details, make sure it all matches. Like any discrepancy can cause disablement. It can cause suspension. Then you have to go through the appeal process. Every time you're going through the process, it takes longer and longer for things to happen. I've had accounts all the way up to 45 days before we even heard anything. Um, if it's your first time, it's generally fast. All right. I showed you one just before. I believe it was 13 or 14 days. Here was tip number one. Fill out your appeal submission information uh, correctly. Right. A lot goes with that. Make sure that everything's uploaded within that 60 minutes. If you have big images, get everything ready. Do the big ones first. Make sure everything's shut off right? On your machine. Make sure you're not watching YouTube videos or listening to a podcast or whatever, right? Don't play Netflix in the background. Just focus on your business, all right? Um, the next thing that we talked about, all right? So that was number one, fill out everything. Two, take a look at third party. And this that's the biggest tip. We were able to get two separate businesses with multiple locations back by figuring this out. Um, you know, I, there's a lot of services out there that are doing reinstatements and they're going in and cleaning out everything. It's the same with all your API connections. You know, if you have something that's po auto posting to your account, um, and then you have all this other stuff going on, like that's not trust, you know, that causes problems. So here we are. So take a look at third party. Okay. Application API connections to your Google uh, email account, right? So wherever your Google business profile is held, take a look at third-party connected APIs through third parties. Take a look at the permissions or if it's something you don't trust, disconnect it immediately, all right? The next thing that I want to point out here, all right, we can spread this one out a little bit. That's a big one, all right? Number three, all right? Uh, number three uh, is, uh, uh, have your account information all the same inside of Google account, tax forms, um, website, like everything needs to be congruent. All right. Oh, that, that reminds me too. See, at different times, we've done different things. Like I've tried the cleanup, right? If, if you keep going through, if you're on your second appeal, right? You can, it's going to be hard to get it to go back through, but they'll send you an email and it'll have a blue um, box in it. It'll say appeal. When you go into, if you go to the tool, it won't work. But when Google sends you an email, say it's on, you know, you keep going through the process. Every time they send an, e an email, there'll be a blue box. You can click on that and it'll let you go through. The token that comes with the email is slightly different. Um, so you do, you can get multiple shots. All right. I don't think it should take you multiple, but in case it does just know you can do that. All right. Have your account information all the same inside the Google account, your tax forms, your websites, etc. cetera. Um, I told you about the applications, um, posting apps. All right. This was another big one that lock, well, it's posting applications uh, or a grid. I don't, if you know what a geo grid is, geo grid uh, maps rank trackers. Okay. What these are doing, all right. And it's not the tool, they're trying to help you. 
But what they're doing is, is they're connecting it through API. And when somebody comes in and makes an edit to your profile, it automatically reverts it. People are deliberately going out there continuously and making these edits, knowing that it's going to go back. And it's only a matter of time before you get suspended. All right. So uh, these posting apps, GeoGrid maps, uh, trackers, take a look at the locking feature and shut it off. Exclamation point. <laughs> All right. Here's the next one. It's not funny, by the way. Four. Number five. Um, so we talked about the GeoGrids. I'll have your account information. You have to get everything up within the 60 minutes. Take a look at the third-party application connections. I made that big because that's the that's the biggest. Um, fill out all of your submissions the right way. Uh, here, I'll, I'm going to go even more. I'll give you another one. I've seen them take 12 to 45 uh, days to return a decision. Hill, let's get, I want to give you this one too. All right. So we talked about that. We talked about the appeals. We talked about the posting, having everything map, going into your workspace or your Google account. Like those details matter. Uh, the locking mechanism, the API connections, the posts, the geo grids. Um, uh, oh, here, I get this question a lot. Let's clarify. If you are if you have a business, right, and you've gotten the email that said that you're suspended, you need to go through the process of appeal, okay? They've sent you the email that says you're suspended, your profile's not here, but you go out to Google Maps and your business is still there, right? It's still ranking, but you can't edit, you can't modify, and you have to go through the appeals process. This is what is known as a soft suspension. If you get a letter, an email, from Google and it says your business profile has been suspended, but you go out to maps. Like if you get this email, go right out to maps and double check for your brand and your primary key term. If your business is still there, that's a soft suspension. The probability of you getting your uh, listing back, highly likely, as long as you don't make a mistake and you respond quickly. 